Hello you guys and welcome back to Melissa's Kitchen. <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> Hey guys, so this video is going to be a lot of voiceover because all of my audio got ruined. So what I'm saying here is that I've been in a scone mood and I used to make pumpkin scones in high school, but now Josh wants chocolate chip scones. So I guess we're just going to make those for him. <laughs> now I was on Pinterest for a solid probably half hour, 45 minutes, I don't know, trying to find a recipe that did not use whole milk or heavy whipping cream because it's really hard to go to the store right now because we're still in quarantine. So I finally, after digging, found a recipe that used normal milk. So the almond milk that I have at home is going to work just fine. And I'm very excited about that. Oh, if anyone knows how to create heavy whipping cream with non-dairy milk, please comment below because that would be so helpful right now. All right, ingredients. We have sugar, flour, almond milk, baking powder, egg, salt, vanilla, butter, and chocolate chips. Whoa! This is me complaining that I can't use my stand mixer because the recipe calls for mixing everything together with a fork in normal bowls. So, wow, my life is so hard. But basically, I have a small one for wet and a large one for dry ingredients. Step one. In a large bowl, add the flour, sugar, butter, baking powder, and salt and use a fork to blend together these ingredients, mushing the butter into the dry ingredients as you go along. The end result should look like a coarse crumb mixture. The butter is supposed to be softened. One, two, okay. Three tablespoons sugar. So these are not going to be very sweet. Two and a half teaspoons baking powder and a quarter teaspoon salt. That's a lot of baking powder. Okay. Half. Half. Two. Ready? Does anyone else love the quarter teaspoon? I think it's so cute. Okay, and then butter. Three tablespoons softened. Now I am very poorly trying to cube this butter and then I am just plopping that into my dry mixture. Um, I've read that you're supposed to do this, so that's what I'm trying. <laughs> now comes time to mush the butter in. It's supposed to be a crumbly type mixture when you're done. This, I was so unsure of. I just kept mushing until I didn't see any large chunks of butter left because I just didn't know what else to do. And once that was done, I set it to the side. Time for the wet ingredients. I am taking my almond milk, putting that in the bowl very carefully. I was so scared I was gonna spill this everywhere. But plopping that in, putting one full egg in, and then a whole lot of vanilla. Use a whole tablespoon and whoops, got a little extra. <laughs> Now I am grabbing my tiny whisk and whisking this all together until combined. This mixture smelled so amazing and it kind of looked like coffee. Switching back to our dry ingredients, we are now adding in our chocolate chips. The recipe said to do a cup of whatever you are adding in. So since I'm just doing chocolate chips, I'm doing a full cup of chocolate chips and I happen to have the perfect amount left in this little bag, which just always feels so good when you perfectly use something up you know except then I struggled to get the last chocolate chip out <laughs> anyways moving on dump those in and then just carefully incorporate that with your fork stirring that in nice and gentle you don't want to break any of the chocolate chips because we love a good full chocolate chip am I right okay now the fun part, we are adding in all of our wet ingredients and then just folding that together carefully. It said that the dough would still be pretty sticky and not like a full dough ball. So just incorporate all of the dry ingredients in and you are good to go. We're flouring and then it says plop this down and make it into a ball. There she is. 
That is so sticky. I think I need more flour. Baking assistant. Yes. Hurry. Oh my gosh, this is so sticky. Go. <laughs> this is out of control. Okay. How is it supposed to not get sticky? Okay. I just don't want to make it too flowery, you know? Then it says to make it into, oh my goodness. Stop sticking to my hands. Make it into a circle and then make it three quarters of an inch thick. Okay, do we think that's three quarters of an inch? Yeah. Yeah? All right, then we are supposed to cut it into eight pieces and put it onto a baking sheet. Ruh -roh. <laughs> Maybe I should have used a pizza cutter. Yeah. This dough is so sticky, what the heck? Is this normal? Did I do something terribly wrong? Hopefully I'm not cutting my counter. Not that it's like a really nice counter or anything, but still would not be ideal. Okay, now we're gonna transfer. Oh boy. <laughs> Whatever new scones are like the baked goods version of a pizza. I feel like that's too close to that. Ah! That is, looks like a tornado. <sighs> okay. She got them all on there. Looks like a Dr. Seuss story. <laughs> So it says preheat your oven to 400 degrees and then they bake for 10 to 12 minutes. Good luck. <sighs> oh wait, I forgot. Spread something on top and then put a little sugar if you want. Do we want? She's basting them with almond milk. It said if you use milk, it gives it like a nice golden brown on the top. Then you just sprinkle sugar. Hopefully I'm not ruining them. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Take two. Are they done? They got really puffy. Okay, they're not as doughy as I thought. She's coming out clean. They just don't look cooked, right? Yeah, they kind of have a, they're a very light color. But yeah, there's no, no dough. A cooling rack right away. I could definitely have made these smaller. <laughs> Give it 10 minutes and then we'll try it. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. I'm gonna try this. Let's see. Hey, it's cooked. Yeah. That's good. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I'd say it's good. I could have put more sugar on top. I think it's pretty good though. Mm -hmm. The actual recipe, like, if it didn't have chocolate chips in it, it'd be very plain. Mm -hmm. Like, very bland. Yeah, but it's got a nice fluff to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're really fluffy. Okay. Well, That's good. Actually. Yeah. Nice work. Yay. All right. I'll leave this recipe that I used in the description box if you guys want to try it. I think they're good. Yeah. I think I was expecting like a cookie flavor. And then I remembered it's not a cookie. Like it's supposed to be not as sweet. I think these are delicious. It's a really good amount of chocolate chips in them. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to try them out, let me know if you do. And if you like them, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. You guys are great. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Oh. Just, I'm sorry. It said to put them on a drying rack while away. Apply it on a drying rack while away.